you sound so confident. Um, I've heard you say you'll be president-elect um, come um, this time next year. Where is this confidence coming from? Well, I believe my confidence comes from the quality of the vision that um, I carry in my heart. And I believe that that vision is not unique only to me. It's, uh, it's uh, the same vision in the heart of 180 million Nigerians, um, young and old, rich or poor. I think that everyone wants a new Nigeria. I think that everybody knows when it, someone is, is just proposing a vision because you're running for election. I've been carrying that vision in my heart for 14 years. Um, and I believe that it's a vision that Nigerians want. I think Nigerians will vote for that vision. I believe that the set of values that I carry and I, and I share and I live by are the same values that almost every Nigerian wants for their children, for their wives, for their, for their homeland. And I believe people will vote for, that, for those set of values. And more importantly, um, on, 20, on the 29th of May, we're going to be in, unveiling the journey to a new Nigeria. And I know that it's a journey that people would believe in. So I'm confident because of the vision, I'm confident because of the values, and I'm confident because of the roadmap that we have. I believe Nigerians want it. They want a new Nigeria, and we will get it together. Okay, um, there was this um, article we published uh, that was published on the art page of um, this day, where you, used, you said God has said you'll be president. I did, I, it's I, not in there. It's not there. It's not, I, I, said I, I, God, I said God told me that Nigeria will be the most desirable nation to live in. There's nowhere on that article, and I'm sure you probably can go and read it. <laughs> if you read it, because I know that a lot of people have wanted to say that that's what they're, yeah. and so most of those people obviously did not read but it. there was that debate online about yeah. you saying God No, said. But, but this is one of the things that is very interesting about a generation. We are the most powerful generation. We have the, the, the power of technology, information, and communication on our hands, right? On that phone, we can always check. People should not just believe things because somebody said so. You know, if you Google it, you can always find it. The, the, the article said on the 23rd of November 2004, I had an encounter and God said to me that by 2025, Nigeria will be the most desirable nation to live in. I never said to anybody. And it's not, everybody can go and read the article. Don't, don't take my word for it. Go and read the article yourself. I didn't say to anybody that God said I will be president of Nigeria. No, well, like no, so but, but people <laughs> want to say that that's what I said, okay. right? But but that's because they didn't either didn't read it or they're just being mischievous. So, okay, okay there's this thing that about experience. I, I know you've touched you touched on it on the platform. You've touched on it here again. Some some say, why don't you just wait for 2023 if 2019 is too soon? Well, again, the, the you know, like they always say, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The next best time is always now. And for me, I think that. Nigerians are tired. We are all tired. And we, the next best time for us to start doing what we should have started doing 10, 15, 20 years ago is now. So ask anybody who wants a new Nigeria, when is the best time to start running for a new Nigeria? The best time is now. It's not about winning an office or not winning an office. It's about building a new nation. And the best time to start getting people involved in running for offices across all the levels um, is now the best time to, to start getting your, your permanent voters card to vote for the people who carry or sh and share your vision and your, and your values and, and your dreams for a new Nigeria is now the best time for you to go and join a political party so that, that especially and insist that that party will have voters rights for, for members is now Until to join INEC and to, to help to bring a, a free and fair elections is now we should never postpone our dreams you know, um, we, 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 now is the best time. Not, there's no better time than now. Some said probably you'll start as a senator, then maybe as a governor. Yeah. No, I, I, I think you have been, no, no, some people have even said I should have started as uh, the ward council member. There's some people even said I should have not even started running for anything. I should just be the member of a party. Again, look, I always say it doesn't matter what Fela is doing. The question is what are you doing? Okay, F take your focus off Fela because it's not Fela alone that is going to help to build a new Nigeria. You are going to help to build a new Nigeria. So my real question is not about what fella, wherever fella starts from, where are you starting from? And, and I think that that's the real big question and people should ask. If you are tired of the way things are in Nigeria and you know that Nigeria can be better if we were able to just get people who, are, who, are, who have a good heart, who are competent, who have demonstrated leadership in whatever area they have done, if you know that, that then, then I would ask you, when do you think that anyone should start? And wherever you think they should start, where are you starting from? And if you don't, even if you don't want to start, if you want to start in the political space, go and, and start from any level you want to start. And that's fine. 
I will not judge that. But the most important thing is start something. Do something. Don't sit down there wondering where somebody else is starting from and that becomes a distraction to you. You go start something wherever you are. Start from where you are. Um, looking at how the, uh, the, the, the structure and everything, the, your political party against the PDP and the APC, 36 states across the federation, how are you going to do it? We are just like eight months to the election. How are you going to do this? Well, I mean, we are going to do it by keeping doing what we're currently doing. And we're moving very fast. And today, in, in literally in every local government in Nigeria, we already have people who are, who are uh, ward, uh, local government coordinators. Already, we are at the level of getting ward coordinators in almost all 19,000 wards that, that are in Nigeria. So let me, let me be clear about something. Nigerians all across want a new Nigeria. This is not about Felad Rotoe. This is about the Nigeria that people want. And that's why people are, are joining together and it's not just about getting Feladrote to become president, because even if Feladrote becomes president and we still have the people that throw chairs in the legislature, they're still going to hold, hold our bills until, until they say they, if you don't pad it, they will not approve the budget. Or still, or, or still misses. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? So, so the point that we're making is that we need a whole, and a whole transformation. We need, we need in, in the words of almost Donald Trump, to say we need to drain that swamp. And that is what is exciting people. This is not just about getting one man elected. This is about getting a whole generation to win an election. This generation is not about fella. This generation is about gener this elect this election is not about fella. This election is about our generation and our generation is ready. And that's why we're doing everything that we're doing as quickly as we're doing it. We're ready. And 2019 will be a very pleasant surprise to all of the people who think uh, who think that this generation is not ready. Always stay connected and get free and personalized stories delivered directly to you. Download the new Pulse Buzz app for free now.